find out why he was abducted from his home on Thursday. Now this man just with nine friends that they've got theirs working the side, too. Right? He's got all friends, he's got a carer that we put in there, an unpaid carer that looks after him day and night and it's not costing the government anything and yet they've abducted this man, he's not losing this, they've abducted him, he's 89 years, he's 79 years old and they've taken him to a, uh, some care. Now there's no need to do that, that's an abduction. Nobody, all the people that were supposed to be informed that's closest to him, nobody was informed and they would not tell us where he's gone. We, we don't have all day to listen to a very long and mm, ended story. No, Just look, get to the point. We, we do not want to cause any trouble. Well, you already have. No, no, I haven't. haven't. This man was taken down when his wife died for $2 million. Now, Chad Tracy up at Dutton Park knows the story because I sat down with Chad Tracy of this uh, fraud squad up there, right? Now, what we want to know is why this man's been yeah, What is your relationship to him? I'm a very close friend and I've been for years. Are you related? Then it's not, it, it's none of your business. No, it is. You're not an ex of kin, are you? No, we're listed. We are listed with, listed. with the public trustee and the office of public guardian as his support people. We, they, they have to talk to us. They refuse to talk to us about where he is since last Thursday. It, have you contacted his next of kin? His, his wife's family are in the UK, so you know that it's difficult to do that. Our problem is that we, for the last five days, we haven't known where he is. We want him to be returned to his family home. He's been abducted. What's, I mean, the man at that age must be under so much pressure. What we want is answers to our concerns and yeah. safety. We want our friend to be returned to his family home. What has the public trustee told you? They haven't told us anything. They said go to the office of public guardian. There we are. I'm in the same age group and I don't know what the same to happen to me. What has the public trustee told you? They haven't told us anything. They said go to the office of public guardian. You said that your friend has a carer. Um, why? What? How come you have the carer? She, she does all the cleaning. And he's, he's 79 years old. She does all the cleaning. So there is an offence taking place right now. It's called trespassing. As this is an offence and you're reporting it, we may be required to um, seize your phone because of, because it contains evidence of the offence that has taken place here today. Are you aware of that? Earlier you were trespassing by trying to get in, into that door. We didn't try to get in the door. Yeah. Uh, who are you waiting for? Uh, Mark Crofton, he's the public trustee. And what did he say? Well, we don't know me. And that officer said, go to the office of public guardian, which we have done. And what happened there? Um, I made a complaint and uh, the Office of Public Garden, Guardian refused to tell us where our friend is. On what grounds? I don't know, they wouldn't say. I asked them for the reason and they refused to say. They would have to have given you a reason? They refused to give a reason. I recorded the conversation I had with them and they refused point blank to give me the reason. It was the office manager, his name is Brian Norman. Office ma so we've waited for five days, like out of our wits about our friend and they won't tell us where he is and they won't tell us why we c why he's not at his back at his home. And we argued against the public trustee taking his family home off him and abducted him. He, he, didn't, he didn't want to leave. He's there with his two dogs. He has his carer who's, who looks after his, you know, like food, not medical. And all his clothes, most of his clothes are still there. Are the, the dogs still there? The dogs have been taken. I, went, I arrived there just after they had done it. I, I didn't know what had happened. The dogs were waiting for him to come back. I, I rang around and then I found out that um, the public trustee and the office of public guardian knew about it. And I asked them. you know that they knew about it? Bernie had been in contact with the public trustee. And the public trustee said, go to the office of public guardian. They know about it. Okay. So we went there. I went there on Friday. They wouldn't tell me where he was. Um, I, I, I made a complaint to the complaints officer. The complaints officer said they wouldn't, they wouldn't where he was. So then I went to the ombudsman. The ombudsman are currently investigating the matter. 
Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things happening here. They're not telling us why they're doing things. They're not, they, our friend has been taken from his home. He's been abducted from his home.